Hello, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful people. A good morning to you. All right. So I'm talking about yesterday's um, proceedings of the closing of the um, budget debate 2023-2024 um, done by Dr. The Honorable, Honorable Dr. Nigel Clark. And there was a section that I considered a waste. It really should not have happened from both ends. But I'm going to say predominantly on the side of the People's National Party. I never liked how they approached and dealt with the things. Or, you know, I did not appreciate the outburst. I didn't appreciate when the Speaker of the House said, Member, withdraw. And the person said, I will do it, but I'm not doing it on your terms. And then left. And then when I looked, only one member of the People's National Party remained throughout the remainder of the speech by Dr. Clark. Please understand that he's not, I'm not necessarily fond of what the others, the other side, sorry, is doing for the Jamaican people. I am not. Even though he may have talked about 95% um, 90, of the public sector workers have signed. And you know, he's talking about the powers that be that would govern that. You know, it doesn't mean that everybody, you know, would have been okay with the signing of it. We just have to do what we have to do. That's how it is. I know we run the world, you know. And if you, I must commend the Prime Minister, he never retaliated. He was very calm. I don't care if no one said fake or false. The fact of the matter is self-control is a learned behavior. Self-control is a learned behavior. Emotional intelligence is a learned behavior. It ought to be cultivated. At least you have to give him that. It was calm. P.J. Patterson exemplified that in his day. And it works. It pays off in the long run to be self-controlled. All right. But now that I've done that prefacing, <laughs> let me put it that way. Minister Warmington, believe you me, I'm, co I'm coming to you humbly and respectfully. But firmly, sir, I would have preferred somebody else got up and said what you had said in the last part about people going, should be sanctioned for creating some sort of vitriol or, or disrespect to the Speaker of the House and I guess the other members in the House of Parliament. You are saying that, Mr. Warming? You're, you are the person saying that? It, it, go in your mind's eye, sir. Please, just, just indulge me a bit. Go in your mind's eye. Sit back for a moment. And think on the things that you have said to other people publicly that the Jamaican population have seen and listened and witnessed. The last one, who are you creating some vitriol around and disrespecting? Oh, the former prime minister, the former leader of the Jamaican country, society. And you're going to get up and talk about if people that the lady should be sanctioned and if they continue should go back to the old days where it's either you're suspended or expelled. You are saying that, Mr. Waminder? No, 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 it couldn't be you. It could not be you. I'd rather you make one of the other old time ones get up, like Mrs. Um, Babsy or even the Prime Minister or somebody else. Come in and know everybody name you know. Many I be just a trial learner, understand the politics. Me not no good with names unless you're a front runner and you're always in the media. And I see you, I really know me now. Why may I tell you me no know people more than Jesus really? Or my family members. Or some of them may not even know. <laughs> you are saying that, sir? It's it's uh let me direct you to let me direct you to a, a passage of scripture. Is it Matthew 7? Somewhere down there? Or is Matthew? Yes, Matthew chapter 7. I don't remember the verses. Before you go and you basically, you know, the Bible says, take out the moat out of your eye. Different versions will use different analogies. Before you go to somebody to reprimand and correct them, ensure that you're cleansed. Ensure that you're cleaned up. You know, so if I'm going to tell somebody to take a shower, I have to ensure that I'm, I'm showered properly and I smell good and I look good. And then I say, boss man, boss lady, please go and take a shower. Ensure that you're squeaky clean. Now, when I say squeaky clean, it doesn't mean that we, you know, we're not flawed beings. We're not blemished beings. But when you know it's an area of weakness that, you know, invariably comes out. And you're going to say, you, sir? No, ma'am. No, 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 no. 
Just know that you would be a part of that sanction into inner sir. So there, if you should um, commit that infraction, that misconduct, which is a high possibility that they can either make the decision to suspend you or to expel you too. Not you, sir. You have no grounds to speak to people on, on such in terms of disrespect. The pot calling the, the, the pot, the, 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 the black pot calling the pot, the kettle black. Eh? The two burns it and I call one another that? That's what is happening, sir. I was shocked when I heard your voice. I said, it could not be warm in I was, I froze. I literally froze. Seriously, sir? No, man. No, 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 no. No, Mr. Warmington. No. No, thank you, no, sing so. None whatsoever, sir. None what? No, eh, eh, you should have asked somebody else to say it. You, personally, should have asked someone else to make that comment. Write it down. If you feel I wouldn't say it the right way. And let them speak on it. They would have more groans and people will listen. I frightened when I could not believe it. I was, my mouth almost dropped down to the ground. <laughs> Look at how you, listen to how you, you spoke to the prime. I don't care what issues you guys have. I hear people that can, may not follow up, whatever. I couldn't care less. You're talking, you know that this is a public um, forum. And you know, people are seeing it. And that is part and parcel in a major way. Why Jamaica is in the decadence it is in. It starts from disrespect. It starts from disrespect. That you men claim that is the most important thing to you. Loyalty and respect. And look at, listen to how you spoke to the man, the former prime minister. You breached Romans 13. Please look at the consequences. When you do such a thing. So don't get up and talk about people getting expelled and it's suspended and all of that principle. <laughs> this country is really, really in a joke. And then you don't want to reprimand students that disrespect teachers. You guys want to then re reprimand students that disrespect teachers? And when they look on, they say, oh, he's disrespecting authority. I can do the same. You can't blame them. Children live what they learn. Remember, it's a cycle of life. So whatever attitude is um, displayed, it continues. It passes on. Spirit transform. When I say spirit, I'm talking the common spirit. S-P-I-R-T. Not the Holy Spirit. Attitude then. They transfer. They pass on. And they're like Hansa. Especially if they're negative, it's a bad spirit. It passes, it just, it just like a sprung and it just touches on this one, touches on that one, touches on that one, touches on that one. You remember the movie The Blob? Where it just, just, just took control of it. Everybody came in contact with it, them alive. No, sir, no, Mr. Wilmington, mm -mm, not you. Wrong, wrong choice. Wrong, wrong choice. Wrong person. Miss Sorry, you get up. Miss Sorry, you never touch somebody and say, say this for me. Me can't say it. Me can say, not me. Not me. I am not the best person to say such a thing. And that is why hypocrisy just continues in this country. And when they look and they laugh, when people hear you talk, they just laugh to themselves. Even some of them in there, some of your own colleagues, them, on the same side I'm talking, them just probably laugh. I said, look, listen to who, to who is talking. Listen to who is really talking. Huh? Boy, um... Which you go back to the days, if you dare disrespect the Speaker of the House or whoever it is, depending on the infraction, you either get suspended or expelled. Eh? Come on, Mr. Warmington. Live it first, and then you preach it. Live it, and then you preach it. And don't come with the saying that, um, do as I say, but not as I do. That is stale, outdated, linear. We want something quantum now. Mr. Um, the... The Minister of Finance talked about we are the, the party for where we, we basically um we build trust and transparency. We didn't reload the whole long scene thing there, which I'm gonna talk about in another um post in terms of the taxation and all of that. Not you, sir. Not you. But I probably even prefer Mr. Clark talking about that, although I'm really suspect to in terms of talking about respect versus disrespect in a sense. You understand? Not you, Minister Woman. Not you, sir. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wrong. You should have just write down and say, say this for me, say this for me, to somebody, to one of your colleagues, anybody else. Trust me. Not you, sir. Anywho, guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and certainly share this message.